All right, welcome back to this. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to do the same thing but using variables. I'm just going to get rid of this and I'm going to be using this space to explain something. So we have three types of variables, an int, a float, and a string. So what are we going to be focusing on today? Well, let's focus on int for now, right? So an int is basically an integer, right? So integer. So an int we call integer. And what are ints? Integers? It can be negative 1, um, 0, 1, 2, so forth. And you can say it goes on to infinity, but it has a stopping point. And I'll talk about that later when we go into more computational depth. All right, so that's an int. And what, what is a variable? Well, in math, a variable like x is something which stores a value, right? It's, it's, well, it's kind of an unknown value. But what, what a variable essentially is, it's like a container. It's a storage, it's like a mug or a box, right? And in this box, we can store anything we want. So this box is in the space of a computer somewhere far, far down, and it's in the type of an int, an integer. So all this box can do is take in numbers that are of type integer, so that are whole numbers, right? So what is your task? Well, your task, you know nothing right now. I, I, didn't, I basically told you nothing about integers. Like nothing. So if this is a real challenge, go ahead, experiment, we'll go on go on Google. Many people think like that I'm gonna I'm a bad teacher because I ask you to go to Google. But honestly it's it researching is really good in program. Many professional professional programs, you know, Mark Zuckerberg kind of program, they still go to Google, they still look at um they still look at solution problems and how to face these how to solve these problems. And simple basic computational um, errors, which they just go on Google, Stack Overflow, C++.com, and then, well, they can solve it. So, go ahead and type the cost of a, show, of a, of a burger is $2. But not in text. The 2 has to be of the variable. It has to be some, a placeholder. Right? The cost of a burger is $5. Go ahead and do that now. Pause the video. Spend, I'll say spend 10 minutes max on this and then just come back and see the solution. All right. Let's, I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of this. So we have hash include IO stream using namespace std int main void. So basic stuff. Tell the computer, right? We're going to do something between these two curly braces. So what is our output going to be? Well, our output is going to be um, uh, well, cost of a um, burger is two dollars. Cost of a pizza is is five dollars. All right, and get that aligned very nicely, hopefully, and that's that. So this is going to be our output. But this too is going to be a variable. So how do we declare a variable? How do we initialize a variable? Two things you probably don't know. So declaring a variable is basically telling the computer, all right, computer, make us a storage. Just, just create like a random storage inside your memory, and we're going to put something. But not now, put something later. So how do we do it? Well, as I said, int, right? Int, we're going to store an integer. And we know 2 is a whole number. Let's do the first time first. 2 is a whole, whole number. So I'm going to write int cost burger is cost burger and semicolon. So what is this? Well, in line 7, we have int, which is our data type, as you see the purple thing. So it's our data type. So it's going to, it's going to hold an integer. And cost burger is just the name. You can call your variable almost anything, right? Uh, and it's, but you should not have two variables of the, same, of the same name in the same program. You can have in different programs, but not in the same program, right? So we have int cost burger, and we initialize it. We just told the computer, make up a space. We didn't tell how big of a space, how small of a space. It's just going to make some space. And now let's declare. Let, let, let me declare. Sorry. This is declaring a variable. Okay, sorry. This is declaring a variable, and then we initialize a variable. We give the variable a value. So what is this value? The value is 2. Don't write $2 because dollars is not a number, right? Only 2 is a number. So cost, is e cost burger is equal to 2. Simple, right? So int cost burger is equal to 2. And what else do we need? We need another variable, right? For holding this 5. 
So same thing. So int cost pizza is equal to five. So let's print this out. So C out C out cost of a burger is I'm actually I'm actually just gonna remove this. I'm just for, for now I'm just gonna say the cost of a burger is two and the cost of a burger is five. Alright, just for now, we're going to come back to how we put dollars in and stuff like that. This is for simplicity. The cost of a burger is. But now, how do we put this variable? We can't just say cost of burger is well, cost burger, right? Because this thinks of it as a text. This is not a variable, right? It's not getting the value of it. It's only getting the text of it. So how do we do it? Well, what we do is we have these angular brackets, and then we put the variable name cost burger. And of course, end up. Next line. See out. Cost of a pizza is cost pizza. End up. All right. Seems fair. If it's a bit confusing, I'm actually going to go through this. But let's first run, compile, and run this program. Right. So I'm going to save this file right over here. Save file. Go to build. Run. All right, so cost of a burger is two, cost of a pizza is five. So it seems pretty good stuff. So let's kind of decode this. So I'm going to start from line five. Let's not care about from line one to line four for now. So we're telling the computer do something between these two curly braces and line six and line twelve, right? So let's. I'm actually going to create an output thing over here. Oops, bunch of asterisks. I don't need them. All right. So let's start off with our output this is going to be our output this is what the computer is reading all right so our output is going to be so i'm the i'm the computer and i'm creating a variable so uh, i'm going to tell the computer create a variable called cost burger right so i'm just going to call variables it's going to be a variable section cost cost burger we have one variable called cost burger and oh, the, the value of the cost burger is 2. So let's give that 2. And we have another one, cost pizza. And the value of the cost pizza is 5 equals 5. So we have two variables. One is 2, one is 5. 2 is cost burger, 5 is cost pizza. All right? Now let's look at the main output. Main output. The printing, basically. So what do we say? Well, oh wait, I have to print something, right? So C out is telling me to print something. So print something after this, after after these two angular brackets. So what do I have to print? Well, cost of a burger is okay. That's fine. That's that's all I have to all I have to write. And then I'm given a the a variable. So what I have to do? This is called concatenation. Concatenation is basically adding the two together. So cost of burger is plus the cost of the cost burger variable, right? The cost of a burger is, and then, hmm, what's, what does cost burger equal? What is my cost burger variable equal? Well, it equals 2. So I say cost burger is 2. Endo, so next line. Let's remove this endo because we don't really need that. So endo, go to the next line. Next line. And then cost of a pizza is, stop, same thing. And then cost pizza, what's the cost pizza again? Well, that's 5. So we type 5. And this is our output. So our main output is cost of a burger is 2 and the cost of a pizza is 5. And it works, right, as you saw in the output. All right, so this is this is fine. But what if you have to put the cost of a, the cost of a burger, right over here, cost of burger, is $2. How do you put the dollars? Well, it's really straightforward, really simple. After this, instead of putting endo, before endo, you put another angular bracket. And then you put these quotation marks and you say dollars. Right? So what is this doing? Well, saying cost of burger is, then it's adding the cost of a burger, which is two. So the cost of a burger is two, and then it's adding this text dollars. The cost of a burger is two dollars. And the same thing over here, dollars. And you can see I'm actually being smart and leaving some spaces over here. But this is because the computer doesn't just naturally keep spaces. You have to put this, you have to allocate the spaces. And if you don't put the space, it's just going to be one chunk. It's just going to be one chunk line. So what is this supposed to print? Well, C out, cost of a burger is 